Please, be seated. Mr. President, this is the uh, regularly scheduled unit commander's meeting of the military office of the White House. That normally after major trips we have a discussion of the trip and a debriefing to see if there are lessons learned and problems to be solved. So I understand you wanted to critique it this morning. Is that, uh, is that correct? Well, well, I'm pleased to have the opportunity here to say that, first of all, let me apologize for being late. I got hung up in an anti-nuclear demonstration. <laughs> <laughs> No, I I know or have some idea of what all goes into the planning and the preparations for particularly things like uh, the trips that we've been on. And sometimes I wonder how it all gets worked out so perfectly, but then I know that there are people like you who are seeing that it does. And uh, you never cease to amaze me. I wish also sometimes uh, some of those same demonstrators I'm talking about could uh, could know how effective and how capable you are. And I'm just deeply grateful to all of you. And again, as I say, I'm in awe of uh, how it how it all comes out so perfectly. Particularly these uh, last few trips, I know that you didn't have much to work with on the one to Asia, and. Uh, it must have been kind of, kind of like starting the world all over again, <laughs> again. and a little more help at the other end than the, than the one to Europe, but it's just I don't have words to express my thanks. So I welcome this opportunity to see you and mine could have a chance to say hello to everyone Thank individually. Well, I am. All right. The, uh, there's, I'd like to stand here and hope that I could think of something uh, more eloquent to say about what you all do, but please know that uh, I at times feel like I'm comfortably wrapped in cotton batting when I'm <laughs> when I'm out there. So how do we how do we do the? Uh, Why don't we just go around the room? All right, Colonel Larry Sherwood, White House Communications. Yes. yes. Yes, sir. Oh. I've thought of something to say here that I've got to say go. about communications. <laughs> Have you all heard about my phone call the first few months I was in office here uh, to the USS Pratt in the Mediterranean? You haven't? Well, one of our columnists, James J. Kilpatrick, invited Nancy and me down to his farm in Virginia for lunch. And so we flew off in the helicopter off the south lawn here. And when we landed just half hour later, why, Jack was telling me about uh, how our fellows were there and uh, setting, putting in the phones. Remember, I was brand new, and I said, wait a minute. I said, you mean a half hour from the White House, and there's a phone system has to put me put in for me to go out to lunch? And he said, oh, yes, and they tell, told me that they could reach any place in the world almost instantly. And uh, he said, I challenged them. And they said, well, name someone. Well, he said, I have a son who's on embassy duty at a country in Africa. And he said, they got him, and my wife got to talk to her son. And then he said, I challenged him again, and I said, uh, I've got a son who's a quartermaster on the USS Pratt in the Mediterranean. Well, he said, can you get him? And he said, no. He said, well, you can't get everyone. Here. Well, they said, the Mediterranean, the fleet's on maneuvers. And when the fleet's on maneuvers, only the president can reach them. So he told me this story on the way into the house, and inside the house, I met the young man's wife. Very sweet, charming young lady. And I said, excuse me, and I went back out and I said, is this true, right, that you can reach a, uh, the USS Pratt in the middle? Oh, yes, sir, they said. I said, get him. <laughs> I hadn't thought through very well. I hadn't thought through that the last part of any conversation was going to be by radio with the entire fleet able to listen in. So I went in and got her. She got to talk to her husband. Hadn't seen each other for months. Then I got a letter from him. Uh, some time later, thanking me for this conversation, but he said, I don't think you understand exactly what things are like when the fleet is on maneuvers. He said, the air is full of traffic, admirals are talking to admirals, ships talking to ships, and then he said a voice came on and said, White House calling. And another voice came on and said, what code is that? <laughs> and a third voice says, maybe it is no code. <laughs> maybe it's the White House. And then he said, they came down to a lowly quartermaster 
on a, on a destroyer and told him that he was wanted on the phone. And he added this line. He said, it was as if God had called the Vatican and asked for an altar boy by name. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, thank you very much. Well, listen, I'm glad you reminded me of that. Monty Stokes, Air Force yes. One. You Hello there. Nice to meet you. Well, it's nice to see you. <coughs> We've enjoyed working with you. Well, listen, fun for I years. appreciate everything that you've all been doing. Yes, right. Are you right, Gordon, from the garage, sir? Yes. Hi, Hi how are you? Good to you, sir. Good to see you. Ron Jackson from the World's Greatest Mass. Morning, Mr. President. Hi. Thank how are you? Good to see you. It's good to see you. Thank you. Keith Erbach from Air Force. Mr. President. Yes. Hello there. Nice to see you. John Nettles, your aircraft coordinator, sir. Hi. Nice to see you. How are you? Dr. Dan Ruge. I didn't have time to put on my uniform. <laughs> <laughs> Jack Mills, emergency action. All right. Please. All right. Dave Benning, special Thank programs. You. Yeah. Nice to see you. Eddie Serrano. Hey, hey. yes. <laughs> Paul there. Norris, there. military ceremonies. Hello Hi. there. Staff Sergeant Monero from our office, sir. Yes. yes. Hi. How are you? Nice to Thank see you. Sergeant Miller from our office. Hello sir. there. Rich Haas from Camp David. Hi, oh, nice to see you. Terry Dake, your helicopter pilot. Yes, you <laughs> bet. Nice Bill to Caulfield, see you. Bill Caulfield, our deputy director. Hello there. Well, again, thank you all very much. Eddie, there's the babysitter, and I'm the baby. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be back at it <laughs> in just a few hours. We leave for Camp David. But again, my heartfelt thanks to all of you, and believe me, a heart full of admiration, too, and respect for what for your accomplishments. Thank you.